بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس السلام علیکم ٹو ڈے آئی ہیو پریفرڈ دس ایکٹیویٹی فار یو پیپل اٹس سم تھنگ پریکٹیکل تھنگ بیکاز دس ول انہانس یور بیٹر انڈرسٹینڈنگ بیٹوین ہیومن ٹرانسلیشن اینڈ مشین ٹرانسلیشن اینڈ وی کال اٹ اور آئی ہیو گیون دس ٹائٹل ٹو دس ایکسرسائز فور اسٹیپ translation comparison and evaluation exercise this is exercise number one and uh, i shall be giving you uh, two three more exercises during this uh, course and the purpose uh, of uh, this uh, exercise uh, is twofold number one uh, that the students should uh, uh, really understand the difference or the different mistakes found in human translation and machine translation the second purpose is of course is to have some uh, uh, understanding about how to evaluate human translation which is linked to the third step of the second uh, purpose uh, that the students if they want uh, to do some research in this regard Uh, this could be one little exercise or little step that can lead uh, towards the better uh, um, you know uh, better uh, and, and uh, devising a good topic for your uh, ms thesis so there are four step in this exercise number one is uh, uh, that you will be uh, given uh, a source text for your translation so in uh, a source text in arabic shall be distributed among you uh, by uh, some people here and you are supposed to translate it by yourself with the help of uh, dictionary with the help of uh, uh, of course other uh, tools but i would request do not use google and bing during this because this is a condition for this exercise do not use google translate or bing uh, for translating this text because this is very essential uh, for this uh, exercise you will go through this uh, text you will read it you will have uh, all the facilities except mentioned google and uh, bing and when you finish the translation you will be given page number 1 one. Uh, one page page number 1 only for this uh, step Uh, after completing the translation uh, you will be handed over the the next steps which is the second step in the second step uh, you will be uh, uh, given uh, machine translation uh, one of course uh, from google and the other from the bing and there shall be another uh, blank box which is your translation and if you feel like you can transfer your translation in that box for uh, for better comparison for better uh, you know compare and contrast to find out uh, different uh, uh, mistakes or uh, what differences are there between your translation which we consider the human translation and between these two machine translation uh, i mean google and bing translation Uh, after finishing this step uh, you will uh, move forward and go to the next uh, step which is third one and in this step uh, you are asked to collect points for comparison and evaluation uh, collecting points for comparison and evaluation is a is a is a is a prerequisite for your final uh, uh, summary uh, which is fourth step Uh, for this i have given these uh, sub uh, categories which is lexical items for example if you want to compare the words your words and the words of google and bing translate uh, you will uh, jot down on this page for your next step also if you want to uh, see the comparison and uh, similarities also they are al- always there uh, in in grammatical structure and uh, you know the how the how you have structured your sentences in target text target language and how these two machine translation uh, systems have uh, provided you uh, the structures 
you can also um, look into the uh, your translation and the machine translation uh, from the angle of this con culturally bound expression this term is very loose term it 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 it, it contains a lot of things it, food names of food culturally bound expressions gestures are culturally bound expressions um, i mean the, the the proverbs are there idiomatic uses are there so if you find if you like to uh, find if you find in this text or other text of course um, you can also keep this in your mind and if you find terminology used in this uh, original text and then translated by you and by the machine translation you can also consider this and semantic aspects is another aspect fluency when you finish your translation of course or when the translation is done by machine translation system uh, we also see or evaluate the machine translation from this aspect whether the the translated text is fluent or not is it's, it's easy to understand for the native speakers or not there may be other aspects as uh, as well like um, punctuation like um, uh, spellings and so on and so forth so after uh, collecting or noting all these uh, points in this uh, third step uh, you will move to the fourth step which is the last one here and in this you will write summarized write up of the comparison and evaluation for based on the third step because in in your third step you have collected points um, regarding uh, lexical item regarding uh, grammatical structure regarding cultural mode expressions terminology and so on so forth so here uh, you will uh, you will write the uh, in, in a summary of course uh, uh, kind of report or an a quick analysis of the previous uh, things and uh, the one uh, one good clue to to start uh, your summarized write up for the comparison evaluation is that i was given or i translated this and this text so you in the beginning uh, one line two lines you introduce the text type and then of course you complete your summarized write up uh, with the details that you have already